Hey everybody, today I'm going to upload a little short video that correlates with the video I just uploaded and filmed. I'm actually wearing the same shirt. Changed my makeup, left the shirt on, why not? And it is explaining why I'm going to be not doing any beauty box unboxings, at least in like the foreseeable future. And it's because I cancelled actually the day that I filmed that video my Beauty Box 5 and Watch Box subscriptions and it a huge part of it is I just have all of these products that I'm not going to get to or I tried once and they're just kind of hanging around and cluttering stuff up. Some of the products were repeat products either in I know I think I got the same sample about a year or so, a couple months at least, apart from Birchbox, and then I got the exact same thing in a Beauty Box 5 and a Birchbox, a couple months apart, and the worst thing is it's a product that I never used, and probably won't use because I just don't really do like the highlight and contour and bronzer and all that stuff, and with Beauty Box 5 you couldn't customize it at all with other ones I think with Ipsy and I'm not sure about Ipsy but I believe with Ipsy and with Beauty, with Birchbox you can customize them you fill out a little survey telling them what concerns you have and all that and so that was nice for Birchbox that you could customize it one thing that I didn't like that you couldn't really customize about Birchbox is the perfume samples perfume is very personal for people and the perfume samples that they would send were just not my taste at all. I mean, I'm sure that somebody out there likes them, I mean, somebody designed them and all that stuff, but to me they're just like horrible. And there was no option, you could either have it like every month or just a couple months. No option for, I don't want any of your perfume samples. And with Birchbox there was a lot of like anti-aging stuff and when you're 27 years old looking 15 you don't need anti-aging stuff. I do take care of my skin but my concerns are like acne and sun exposure not anti-aging. And then with Beauty Box 5 some of the things again like there's a couple repeat things in there or they're starting to get more, more into like tools instead of cosmetics and I felt like some of the products were kind of cheap and same with Birchbox I mean last thing that was in there you saw me like kind of pause and hold up to light it was a little primer that had like SPF in it and it looked like there's maybe one application in there you could see how little product is in there I know it's a sample but fill it up at least halfway and maybe one or two applications in there. So that was a big deciding factor in canceling my Birchbox subscription. Also with my work, I work on the beach in Florida so it's a pretty seasonal job. Things are going to be slowing down for me financially and so I didn't really want to spend the $22 a month, Box being $10 and Beauty Box 5 being 12 every month for something I wasn't happy with and wasn't going to be using. The only subscription service that I've been 100% satisfied with was Black Sheep Lacquer and the woman who runs that company, she stopped doing it because she had some issues with it. She moved to be near family and some of the shipping where she moved to wasn't working out and like some people weren't getting their product or hey Jane or some people it was really late like I think that one of my shipments went missing or whatever so and I just kinda got tired of all the samples and all that stuff yes yeah, and I'd much rather use another subscription service maybe for my cats or something else I'm still doing Loot Crate but what I like with Loot Crate is they tell you the theme of the month and you can skip the month or skip a couple months or whatever and for the most part 
it seems to be a pretty good deal with Loot Crate and I'm going to try out the Doki Doki version of Japan Crate so that should be interesting and the reason I'm going to sample that one is because this month's theme is cats so couldn't pass that up and I'm trying to think if I've like expended all my points But the main thing is I just wasn't very satisfied with the products and samples that I was getting. I mean, while it lasted, I did kind of enjoy it, but the quality and kind of quantity to some point wasn't up to my standards. And I know it was just like $10, $12 a month, but still that's money that I'm working hard to try to earn and I want to spend it on something that I'm actually going to enjoy. Now, if you have any opinions about this or you want to suggest a new either beauty box or some kind of subscription service for me to try out and open up on the channel, let me know down below and just share your thoughts and whatever down below. I'm sorry if this is controversial or whatever, but it's just my opinion and that's kind of what YouTube is about, is putting out your opinion out there. So, if you have any thoughts, let me know down below and I'll see you next time. Sorry if this video is kind of disjointed, but I'm just trying to get my thoughts out there.